hello everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome back to prof choice food channel if you're new to this channel you're welcome don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit the notification bell below so you can be notified when i post new videos and to my loyal subscribers and i do hello so today we'll be cooking a nigerian dish a delicious nigerian dish So these are the ingredients we're going to need for our unkwabi or isiewu. We're going to need goat head, cut it into the sizes you, you like. Um, also, we're going to need goat brain. We're going to need red onions. We're going to need palm oil or red oil, whichever way you call it. We're going to need fresh pepper. Going to need bouillon seasoning for taste. We're going to need otazi leaf. We're going to need um, edible potash. And we're going to need salt. So those are the ingredients we're going to need today. And you can see them in the video. So first of all, what I'm going to need you to do is crush your edible potash and set it aside so later on in the video i'm going to show you what we're going to do with the edible potash but for now just grind it and keep it um in the corner set it aside so now let's prepare the meat let's steam the meat um in a pot put out your thoroughly washed goat head inside don't add any more water just leave it like that and then add your ground pepper your ground fresh pepper go ahead and put it in and then we're going to add your diced onions. Go ahead and put some diced onions, sliced onions. Also, we're going to add salt and bouillon seasoning for taste. So salt and bouillon seasoning. And then at this point, go ahead and stir it. Do not add any water, just stir it as evenly as you can. The water that is gonna come out from the meat is gonna help it boil um, better. So go ahead and stir it and then now I want to prepare the goat brain to be cooked so in the, in the foil in a foil plate or in a stainless plate or in a foil if you if you can like ship a foil into a plate or in a moin moin pouch go ahead and put the um, goat brain the goat brain inside and then place it inside the pot like you see in the video so you see i put the goat brain inside the pot inside the plate if I put it inside the pot and then I covered it so that's how you're going to do don't add any water then you place the pot cover on top so cover it now you're going to allow it to cook for about you know 10 minutes or longer if you want your meat to be really soft allow it to cook longer just from time to time open the pot to check the um, the softness of the meat and then adjust as necessary so now let's prepare the other ingredients. So in a plate, go ahead and slice your onions. We want to slice our onions. So we, we want to slice it in ring shapes. So watch as I do it. Be careful not to cut your hand. So slice it like that carefully. So the, the ring, this is to like garnish the, the goat meat when we're done. So go ahead and slice it. And then make sure your hands are really clean. Go ahead and separate the rings. Go ahead and separate the rings carefully. After separating them, look at what it looks like. So the ones in the corner that did not form a perfect ring, we're not going to use those. We're just going to use the perfect rings to um, to um, garnish the meal. So go ahead and set it aside. Now we want to prepare the um, otazi leaf. So go ahead and wash it thoroughly and then fold it. Fold it and then fold it again. Make sure your knife is really sharp. Slice it, you know, into tiny bits, you know, to tiny slices. And then set it aside. So go ahead and check your meat and make sure it's boiling well. So I want to check mine for softness. So I'm going to open the pot. And it's been boiling for about 10 minutes. So I know for sure the good brain is ready. So I'm going to take the good brain out and set it aside. I check my meat and it's it's to the softness that I want so I'm going to stop cooking the goat meat at this particular time I'm going to take it off the stove because it's soft enough for me now the next thing we're going to prepare we're going to prepare the edible potash so in a plate 
remember I, I told you to grind the potash and set it aside so go ahead and bring the potash and put it in this plate so now we're going to use warm water pour a little bit of warm water inside and then use a spoon to like mix it together so use a mix uh, a spoon to try to dissolve the potash inside the warm water so you see that it's not all the way dissolved so I'm going to add a little bit more warm water and mix it some more so watch this so I added a little water and now I'm mixing it some more make sure it all mixed together it dissolves very well so what you're going to sieve this potash to remove all the dirt and sand and then set it aside so in a clean bowl go ahead and put one spoon of palm oil like that so put it in the plate but you see that the spoon wasn't very full so I'm going to add a little bit more into the plate so add a little bit more and then now you're going to bring the potash that you sieved. Remember you sieved the potash that was mixed with warm water and set it aside. Now we, after sieving it, now you're going to add it into this palm oil a little at a time. So you add a little bit, mix it up, add a little bit, mix it up. The goal of adding the potash to the palm oil is to change the color and the texture. So you're go, the potash will change the palm oil to, to make it yellow. And then it's going to make the palm oil thicker as well. So you see how I add a little bit at a time and I mix and I check for the consistency and then I add a little bit again and I check for the consistency. That's how you do it. So as you can see, the palm oil is turning yellow. That's good. It means we're doing it right. So go ahead and keep mixing. Go ahead and mix. Add a little bit of mix. Now, see, I'm, I'm checking it to make sure that it's to the consistency that I want. So keep mixing until you get to the consistency that you want. Once you get to that consistency, you can stop adding potash. So go ahead and mix it thoroughly. You want everything to be well mixed. Keep checking for, cons for the consistency. So at this point, you see I'm showing you in the video, I have the consistency that I want. So now we're going to add <clears throat> our, 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 our diced onions. So go ahead and add diced onions and then mix it up and then we're going to add sh uh, some of the shredded otazi leaf the slice some of the sliced otazi leaf we're, you're going to save some for garnishing but we'll add some of them in the plate and then i like my unkwabi or isia will really spicy even though i added some uh, fresh pepper when i was steaming the meat i'm still going to add a little bit more right now for the garnishing so go ahead and add a little bit more fresh pepper if you like it really spicy really peppery so go ahead and mix it very well and then we're going to add a little bit of salt so don't put too much salt because remember we already put salt when we're steaming the meat so just add a little bit for taste in the garnishing so go ahead and put it in and mix it up very well combine it very well so now we're going to add the meat the goat meat, the, the goat head. So add just the meat. Do not add the um, stock from the meat or the water that came out when you were steaming the meat. Do not add that. Just the goat head. Go ahead and add it up and mix it up very well. So go ahead and add it a little bit at a time and then mix it up very well. Mix it up. So now, remember, add the prepare another oil and potash mixture that's what i have in this bowl we want to mix up the um, good brain so add oil add a little potash remember how we did it earlier palm oil a little potash that has been sieved um mix it up until you get to the consistency you want the same consistency we added had earlier mix your good brain you see so those are three ingredients in this plate palm oil potash mixed with warm water to the consistency that we want and then the good brain so you see how thick it is go ahead and add it to the mixture of the um of the goat meat like this so now put it in a in a in a pot and heat it up so we just want to heat it up so it can be warm and hot there is no you know no other reason for it we've put all the ingredients so far so now you just stir it keep stirring it until you get to the um until it gets hot enough for you to serve 
and that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i post new videos i have other videos in nigerian pigeon and also in english language thank you guys go check out my other videos bye